Hey Kerbal fans, welcome to a brand new career mode with Rhinestone. We're now in version 1.1, which is super exciting. I'm going to go ahead and start my career. Now I'm going to call it the RKSA. Now RKSA stands for Rhinestone's Kerbal Space Agency. And I designed a flag for it as well. Here it is, the Kerbal flag. There it is, look at that, RKSA. You got a little picture of Rhinestone and the initials RKSA. Now remember that name, it's going to come gonna come up a lot all right we're now in now the cool thing about this new release 1.1 is that the graphics engine has been updated from unity 4 to unity 5 so we should expect a lot better performance particularly when building big rockets or bases um, which I'm super excited about really excited to be starting again as well so we need to choose our contracts so first of all I'm gonna go for gather scientific data from Kerbin and I'm going to go for launch our first vessel. Since it's so early on, we can only accept two contracts. We have no parts, really, to speak of. Nothing from the research and development team. So we're going to go ahead and build a really simple rocket. Now, I really like the transition between screens now. It's a lot quicker. There we go. We've got our little flag on there. Look at that. You can zoom in and see it. Cool. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is pop a couple of these mystery goo containers on here. And we're going to need a parachute, obviously. And the only rocket we have available is the Flea Solid Fuel Booster. So that is our first rocket. We need to change our stage. So first of all, the first stage will be the Solid Fuel Booster. Second stage will be using our parachute. Now I'm really hoping this has enough fuel to, uh, to get us back down to the ground safely. Now this is going to cost us 2,822, which should see a lovely profit from accepting those contracts. Now, Jebediah, as always, is going to be the guy controlling our craft. Look at that, you can see inside the craft there. That's pretty cool. Jebediah is looking nice and happy. Now, before we go anywhere, we want to get a crew report. So let's get a crew report while on the launch pad. It's only one and a half sides, but it's better than nothing. We can also observe the Mystery U. These are our first experiments. That'll give us another three um, science. Let's take a look at our contracts here. If we can just expand this out, which we can't. So we need to gather scientific data from Kerbin. Now, in order to achieve that, we just need to land, basically, and recover our rocket and launch our first vessel. Simple as. We want to engage SAS, so we turn that on. Turn up our speed, which we don't really need, because these uh, solid fuel boosters run at a fixed speed. And away we go. Cool. All right, now I guess we can observe our mystery goo while in flight. Yeah, another seven science. So provided we can get back, if my math is correct, we should have 11.5 science. Now, you have to be quite careful with these parachutes. They, they're only safe to deploy below certain speeds. And they're only going to open at 1,000 meters, I believe. So let's speed up the game and get to our apoapsis. The apoapsis, if, you, if you're new to the game, is basically the highest point on your trajectory. So we've so past that and we're plummeting back down to the planet Kerbin and we open our parachutes let's take a little shot there what can Jebediah see can't see anything he can just see out the top lol at the slightly slightly dark dark blue royal blue perhaps sky all right now providing our parachute opens let's zoom out and make sure it's gonna open yeah sweet our first rocket launch will probably be a success or slightly concerning is the six and a half to seven meter per second dent, uh, descent speed, which uh, usually you want to aim for about six meters per second for a safe landing, but it looks like we're good. That's actually quite fast, six meters per second. So all we got to do now is recover our vessel, and the RKSA is in the space race. We're competing with NASA and the Chinese and Russian agencies. Hopefully, we can do a lot better than those. So, wow, we got sixteen and a half science. Huh, that's more than I thought. My maths was incorrect. And we've now got 106,000 funds, reputation's gone up to 17, and Jebediah gets 1 XP. Now, one thing I've noticed actually on this new uh, update is that the prices are now in pounds. The, the currency of my country of birth, England. Beautiful. All right, now we can go and spend our hard-earned research points. And first of all, I'm going to unlock engineering because that's really cool because you can get the science junior, which opens up a whole loads of new science, um, which will obviously improve your research tree and get loads of science, unlock new parts. It's all good. The Communitron 16, so we can beam back data 
And we got a stack decoupler, which is awesome because then we can reduce the weight we're actually bringing back down to Kerbin. Um, I'm also going to unlock um, the basic rocketry. So we've now got the liquid fuel engine, we've got a bigger solid fuel booster, and we got a the FL T100 fuel tank. So we still have 14 and a half science. In order to unlock the next thing, the next cheapest thing is 15 science. So we're slightly short of that. Let's go to mission control and see what other missions we've got. So I think they're all quite standard, these early missions. Test Mark 16 parachute in flight over Kerbin. We'll do that one. And I think we'll haul the, the flea solid fuel booster into flight above Kerbin. Wow, that actually needs to get quite high. Maybe we won't do that one. I think we'll test the stack decoupler. A 50 thought 54,000 meters altitude. Whoa. That's quite high. Um, perhaps we'll do something else then. Escape the atmosphere. Well, either way, we need the money, so which one should we go for? The stack decoupler, I think. We need to get to 54,000 meters at least with a speed. Oh, that's got quite a big range in speed, so we should be able to do this. All right, we've accepted those. Let's go back and design a rocket that can meet these objectives. Now, I think we should be be able to carry at least another one of these mystery goos um, because of the altitude we'll be getting to. I'm just thinking, what height do we need to get to? So we're going to test the parachute. That might be hard to do in one mission, both of these, but we'll see. Um, test the stack decoupler. So we're obviously going to need a decoupler. Let's whack that in the bottom there. And we're getting to quite, a, quite high as well, so we... We don't actually have any um, heat shields. And I think we would need them if we're going to get that high. So I think what I actually I'm going to do is go for the Mark 16 parachute test. That should be relatively straightforward. If we take a fuel tank and the swivel liquid fuel engine, that should easily be able to meet that objective. Um, I think we'll leave the mystery goo behind this time. And that should be good enough to meet this objective. Now, I don't think there's any other science we can get from here. Let's just test. Crew report, yeah, we've already done that. All right, well, let's see how high we get. We're aiming for between two and five, uh, two and 10,000 meters. Oh, we don't want to be going so fast. Let's reduce our speed. And we need a speed between 150 and 270. Now, some of these earlier contracts I actually find a lot more difficult than, like, flying to freaking Elu or somewhere. Um, just because of the, the the small amount of parts you have. It's quite a struggle. Now, I'm wondering, have we got enough fuel to get high enough and to get fast enough? It looks like we have 150 meters per second. We've now crossed the altitude. And if we deploy our parachute, we... Oh no, our speed's reduced. Ah, that's not good. Let's revert to launch and try that one again. Reinstein's Kerbal Space Agency is in its infancy and he's encountering some problems. Well, here we go. All right, so what I might do is shift the staging. So if I drag the parachute down there. All right, we don't want to be going too fast. Let's reduce our speed. Yeah, that should be good enough. All right, we're at the right altitude. So I'm going to cut my engine and deploy my parachute. There we go. Yay, we've met our objective. So if I wanted to t t uh, complete this contract as well, the stack decoupler, I would need to get a lot higher. And like I said, I think I would need the heat shield for that as well. So we should be good here. Remember, we've also got our decoupler, so we don't need to carry this giant engine down with us. Parachute opens and our speed decreases. Oh dear, we've destroyed the engine. Part of the Reinstein's Kerbal Space Agency base has now been destroyed. Look at that. I like the way you can just see my little flag on there. It's the first time I've had a flag. I might put a black border around that to make it stand out a bit more. But nonetheless, here we go. We're plummeting at a nice speed and this will achieve this contract once we land. Come on, Reiny. Yay, Jebediah is fine. Jebediah is fine. Crew report. You know what we can do? Because we've landed, we can EVA Jebediah. And we can get an EVA report. 5.6 science. Sweet. Can we do another EVA? Let's let go of that minute. 
There he is. There's Jebediah standing next to his landing module. Cool. All right, we can't get any more science, so we'll board back in. Grab it. Board it. Recover. Grab it, board it, recover. That's an important message to remember. All right, we've now got 23 science. Perfect. 148,000 funds and 24 reputation. Sweet. So we should be able to unlock survivability, which we can. Yes, we're going to definitely need these radial mount parachutes and that heat shield, like I said. So that's perfect. There we go. We completed that. All right. Well, that about ends this episode. Thanks for joining me. I'm really ex super excited to be playing 1.1. It's been ages because I haven't had the, I haven't got the Steam release. I bought it before you could get the Steam version. I can't convert it to a Steam version. Um, so anyway, yeah, couldn't get the beta release. I'm super excited just to be playing it like this. Um, if anyone wants to support me on Patreon, please do so. From as little as a dollar a month, there is a link in my description. Click that, go there. Donate, keep this channel alive because I'm struggling uh, financially at the moment to keep it alive. Um, and that will obviously be able to enable me to bring more and more awesome games to you. Um, also, if you can share my video wherever, leave a thumbs up, send me some comments, etc, etc. I would love it. Tell me what you think about 1.1. Alright, take care guys. See you on the next episode in a couple of days. Bye-bye.